Hey everybody, what's going on and welcome to a brand new series on the Game of Life channel. This is H1Z1, Time to Survive. Now, this series is going to encompass a lot of different things. We're going to be showcasing PvE, PvP, Battle Royale, How to Craft, Survival 101 and much much more. Now, we've just loaded into the game. Now, one of the first things you'll know straight off the bat is, if you can't tell at the back of my head, there's a bun. The female characters have just been added in this update, which is really cool. Now, if you haven't played H1Z1 before, or anything like Daisy, it's basically survival and zombie slaying and much, much more. So, we need to... Have I got the right one? Inventory, yep. We need to undo this bundle of gauze straight away this is our interface i like this they've, they've had a new bits chest armor they have extended this since i've last played it so you get new shoes and whatnot which is absolutely awesome loads of money items so yeah all this stuff is what you can contain so you get like bags shirts jeans belts pouches whatever and this is where you store everything you've got your crafting your discovery and much much more so let's get back into the game so what you need to do is there's a big map is it like this map this is the map. This is just a bit of a scribbling map, right? And you've got all your cross, you know, your um, coordinates, your A, B to J, all the way down to 10 down there. And it says, if you also look in the bottom corner, bottom right hand corner, very, very likely, if I find somewhere dark, it'll show it better. Position I9, that's where I am in the game. So if you're playing with your friends and you're in the same server, you can team up together and. Uh, Hopefully survive. Now, what we're doing, guys, for this episode, for the first few episodes, is simple PVE. I'm going to show. I'm going to show it as new. Someone's got a gun. They can't kill me because it's PVE, so nobody can do out. So obviously, somebody's got a gun, and they're shooting the um, the zombies. Now, basically, when you start off, you start off with nothing, right? So what you need to do a, a, a good tip straight away is run round and press E near all these bushes, get you some twigs, get you send some branches, get you send some blackberries as a source of food straight away. Now nine times out of ten you will not be lucky and spawn near anything like this straight away. You're probably gonna end up in the middle of a field in the middle of nowhere. Can I jump straight over this? Yes I can. But if you are lucky enough to do that then that's great. Then you've you hit the ground running. Now what you've got to think of is no matter what server you're playing on scrap of cloth I'm gonna take, but no matter what servers you're playing on um, if it's a popular server and you know the place has already been looted it's going to get harder for you to survive so you're just going to need to be be slightly wary of that scrap of cloths all the way what you need to do is loot as many places as you can and start gathering bits together food supplies water whatever scraps of cloth are great to start off with because you can start making more bags satchels stuff like that so you can uh, carry more gear so scraps of cloth I'm quite lucky at the moment I'm gaining a lot of cloth which is always a good start now we start need to raid these places I don't think this place has been looted fully so if anything but you can find absolutely all sorts but ba this is basic survival so we're going to be going around we're going to have a few episodes to show you what to do in certain situations like I said, if you are brand new to this i'm talking we're going to go all ways of life here we're going to go pve pvp battle royale so if you've come to watch this and you're like oh it's stuff that i'm not really interested in that's totally understandable i can totally agree with you but i want to cover the entire spectrum of the game right, someone is shooting there but they can't shoot me which is another thing so if you do want to have a simple zombie survival game then that's fine you've gone for the PVE experience that's what you need to do so there's nothing there there's nothing in the fridge but what you need to do is search everything you might just miss a bottle of water or something that you are desperately in need of and don't be afraid to just keep spamming E or I to f find out if you're missing anything like at the minute there's packs of sugar there and all that because you can check your proximity just in case there's anything that you need now at the moment there's nothing in here so obviously this place has been ram raided ram raided now this wow okay we have come across this pretty quickly this is a custom built player base basically um, 
there's probably going to be loads dotted around these uh, PVE servers especially where guys have made their um, the bases with friends and they're surviving and doing their own thing now we've got a lot of sticks which is a good start now what I'm going to sh quickly show you is the discovery what you need to do is you've got to start doing discovery first before you even go into crafting because you need to discover items if you get what I mean so let's go with wood sticks discover a wood arrow recipe has been learned wood sticks scrap a cloth makeshift bow has been learned scrap a cloth on its own discover satchel has been learned so you're learning as you're going along so when you go to your crafting menu you can make your makeshift bow I saw something in the distance then what is that is that just a that's just a, I, hoped, I was a bit weird, weary then because I thought that was going to be a zombie so you're going to make all your stuff that you need and as you can see the pouch changes as you use the sticks into an arrow which is good now let's have a goose so we, are, we have now basically got our first weapon now that should be on one of the numbers which is good three three please I don't want a stick. Why have I got a stick? Right, four. There we go. We've got a bow and arrow. We've got seven arrows. Now this, you're ready to take on the zombies. You, you, there's no need to be scared now. you just got to make sure you've got a ton of wood sticks. Don't be shy and just strip loads of wood down. For your basis of survival. The more, the more arrows you have, the better. Now, what we're going to do now is go ram raiding. Once I've done crafting, I'm going to quickly craft more wood arrows right so that we've got 10 arrows now which is good now as you can also hang on I will go back here as you can also see in this inventory obviously you've got all your items uh, that can be dropped as you can see you've got all your items here um, you can carry one at a time that's why there's four slots you can carry one at a time and then you have your secondaries and whatnot um, not one at a time. You can carry three with, and then your fists as well. Sorry, I'm not thinking. And on here you've got your stamina, energy, and hydration. You've got to keep an eye on these and use stuff like your blackberries, bottles of water, whatever, to help you out. So what we're going to do now, without further ado, is we're going to go scavenging for stuff. Now this is survival. The, 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 first, the first hour or so of this game, you're just running around getting as much gear as possible. And then you need to figure out where you want to go from there and decide if you were your friends or whatever to meet up and just just enjoy the game in whatever way you want to do it there's absolutely loads of places to search a lot of them could be empty and a lot of them are going to be empty you can't they're not just going to drop items everywhere but sometimes the items are where you least expect them to be as well you might see an item st sat on top of a an item sat on top of a table and you've not actually thought it was an item that's got any importance so let's have a look here primary items now I've not seen one of these workbenches out here before but that's not going to do anything barbecues are a necessity you use them for your um, cooking your water and your meat that you find we will be doing a lot more of this in the future in future episodes but we are just going to basically start where we mean to go forward guys empty bottle here we go we've got, we've got some meat we've got an empty bottle so we can get some water so we are we are getting there guys we are getting there there's anything in the fridge so we could be lucky unless there's nothing in the cabinets I don't want to search all cabinets no nope, there's nothing in there was that a knife there I'm not just glitching but please when you do go like scavenging as I call it check everywhere there could be something hiding in the bathtub like I'm just checking now I, I've spawned into games where there's been backpacks lying at the most random places I've seen a shotgun randomly placed somewhere you know what I mean it, it's it's confusing when you first come in brown work boots see what we've got here white canvas sneakers this is really cool that they've actually been able to change the um, change the the game so much that they've added more more uh, items which is really really impressive I'm actually really happy about that there's nothing in there okay so yes um, whether you're playing PvE or PvP guys no matter which way you do it 
this is going to be the beginning part of your uh, game. PvP not so much because you obviously want to like go in and run around killing people and stuff. But if you if you're a smart smart person, you're gonna you're gonna take a moment to to scout around. Now you're gonna spend a lot of time looking around very bleak, empty places, and you're probably thinking, oh my god. But this is why what this game is great for playing with just friends or on your own as well and you can have a decent experience now we've got scraps of cloth so we've got a lot more cloth this means we now can if we look in our inventory for crafting we can now craft a satchel now a satchel is a small version of a backpack it can carry a heck of a lot of stuff though and in your inventory containers you can start moving stuff about what you want to put in where so i usually leave like berries and stuff in the belt pouch move this stuff into the satchel arrows can go in the t-shirt okay arrows will not go in the t-shirt then 10 arrows t-shirt arrows will not go in the t-shirt oh, that's just bull crap isn't it why has that gone there there we go so you just you just pull and drag into where you want the items to be, if you know what I'm saying. I don't want to swap with an empty bottle. Why is it doing? I don't know why it does that. Because I'm dragging it wrong. That's probably why. So arrows are there. So everything's in my in my satchel, so I can space out stuff. But what we do want to try and find, hopefully in the future, is backpacks, which can hold a lot more cool stuff. Oh, baseball bats. Oh hello! I got a baseball bat. Nice. That's the first time I've ever had one of them in the game. Never had baseball bats. I've had like um, axes and stuff, but never, never a baseball bat. Nothing else in the dryer. Always remember to grab as many tops, t-shirts, jeans as possible. Bandages are important in this game because once you get hit by a zombie, you need to bandage up like ASAP. And don't forget, guys. I know it sounds disgusting but raise garbage cans because there we go Mexican style chicken stew boom baby food's coming down we're going to start looking at food and stuff in a minute right so what we're going to do now for the rest of this video is we're going to be rummaging around this uh, I'm trying to remember which kind of position we're in yeah there we are we're going to rummage around this like, little area around here raiding the different stores and shops and stuff are we, on, are we exactly at like a f oh there's a new character as well so we've got loads of newbies starting with us, which is cool. Flares it good. Oh, I made him. Oh. He's trying to talk to me, bless him. He thinks I'm a woman because I'm running around as a female character. Now I wonder if he's learned how to... What's that in there? There's actually bullets in that bin. That's how... This is what I'm saying about these, these games. They're expanding that much. Purified water. He's not been looking properly. He's a new guy to this. He's a new character to this game. So I've got I've got water now, which is good. And I'll check underneath all the desks because I found bags and weapons around here before. Always cool. Check the top of the tables. Nothing there. He has he looted this properly or has he been a bit silly? You've got to contort your angles. I've got a crowbar. Salt packet. So I don't know if he's even looked half of this. Take crowbar. No space for that. So I need to look at what we need to do. So what I'd honestly say, guys. Oh my God, there's a gun as well. What I'd honestly say is think what you're going to be using. I really will need in the future like a pickaxe or an axe handle kind of thing. Um, I'm not really fussed about guns at the minute, especially in PvE. So I'm going to take the crowbar with me because that's going to be a lot stronger. Right, so... Right, there we go. Right, there's some bullets round here though. I'm not really fussed about them as such. Well, this is always use your proximity search. Always click I or E to check your surroundings. Because if you can find yourself some scraps of cloth, food, whatever. Like this guy obviously ran round here, but he hasn't figured out how to survive properly. This just explains why I'm doing this video. How to survive. That's why this series is called How to Survive, guys. Like I says, whether it's PvE, PvP, Battle Royale, we're going to be doing stuff. I'm going to be learning as I go along as well, because I'm not a pro at this game. I'm not even close to a pro at this game. 
what I would say is I want to link in the description as well. I haven't actually got it up at the minute, but there is a um, what was that? There's a website where you can actually check the map in real, like it's not a hand drawn one like that. It's actually a full blown map that you can use. So you guys can check it out. I will link in the description below. But like I said, don't forget to use your eye or E just in case you miss them on these shelves. You need gear to help yourself out. You know what I mean? Don't be shy. And don't worry about taking forever looking in like trash cans and stuff because if you don't look properly, you're going to miss on stuff. There's binoculars there. I'm not really fussed about them. So it's tool cabinet. I'm surprised there's nothing in there. But if anyone's got any questions about the game, guys, don't forget to leave them in the description down below. And I will answer all them questions. So what we're going to do before we wrap up the uh, video, we're going to quickly go through some of these houses down here. Um, there's a fire over there for some reason. That's something new for me. And just look, each house we go into, just search the places where you need to look for possible weapons, food, water, you know, keep your eye out for stuff there, you go another empty bottle. Always, even if it's an empty bottle, guys, take it. Do not be shy about it. A lot of people just skip stuff because it's like, oh, we don't need it. Trust me, if you, especially in PvE, and you're going to hang out with some mates and stuff, grab any gear possible. There we go, t-shirt, boom, I'm taking that bad boy. Now what I'm going to do quickly, I'm going to swap this t-shirt because you can swap the clothes that you find. So I can go there, light blue t-shirt, there you go. And where's the t-shirt? White t-shirt shred into, it will be scraps of cloth. And what you also want to do with your crafting is all your scraps of cloth, unless you are going to build a satchel for a friend, start making bandages for yourself. Because when you do come across some zombies, I'm actually surprised there were zombies about we're in a built-up area. You normally would see some some uh, zombies kicking around, but we shall see. What is this? A rest area. Okay, this is new into this update. You've actually got like sleeping bags. Can I could, could I do it in like? I guess it's just something that you make up then. Rest. This is interesting. Oh, backpack thing. We go. This is what we need. Boom, baby. Satchel is now in the backpack because you get more room. Really good find there. Really good find. Now, if I can, I'm going to... Can I still shred that? Yes, I can. You shred that into more cloth. Two strips of cloth. That's bull. Right. So, if I can, I'm going to quickly... Grey work boots. Can I shred? No, you can't shred work boots. That's fine. I like that they've done that because you can't shred stuff like that. I'm going to shred jeans. I'm going to make it look good. More scraps of cloth as well. That's that's actually pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. So for now, we've got food, we've got water. Let me explain this situation right now. So our food is at 77%. Water is not that bad. So what I'd say is, when you do play this game, guys, blackberries offer a bit of both, hydration and energy. So I'd recommend you pick as many blackberries up as you can. It only offers a small amount. But if you need them at the time, you should be good. Like now, you're eating it up, your hydration's going up, and your food. At the moment, we've got a bottle of purifier water anyway, which is great, and we've got some food, so it's not exactly going to be a big issue at the moment. So let's get back into it. What did that say? Broadcast from system. Shoot, that's been banned from cheating. Someone's been cheating. Ooh, naughty, 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 naughty. Right, so I'm gonna quickly ram raid this area. So it's cabinets, empty syringe. There's nothing else around here. Nothing in the fridge. Even still, there's nothing else here. Okay, there's another base there. So what you do find in this map, I can't remember where exactly I am at the minute. Well, I what was it? I 
I9. So there's I, there's 9. So we're around this bottom corner here. So I think we're at the this turning, or just slightly up this like church. There's going to be um, a town nearby. There's a couple of big towns that you want to go to. And there's more that you want to look at in the future. And we will be looking at them as they come up. So what I'm going to do for the last bit of this video, I'm just going to quickly run around the rest of these houses. Like I said, you'll find like little pathways and always remember guys just to pick up your wood sticks for more bows and arrows. Bow, um, arrows. Arrows for your bow. And also, which is all which is good, you've got your little wells here. You can drink dirty water, but what I do is I actually grab I think you can still do it with this. Can I fill the empty bottles? Is that gonna do it? No, it don't. Okay. Well, that's poo. I thought, unless it's just you know, like maybe something that happened in the previous patches, you could actually fill up your uh, water bottles. Which is fine if you can't. That's totally fine. I can totally understand that. And we'll go from there. But yeah, so Jessica is now started really well. She's actually got herself a nice backpack. Sometimes you can't find backpacks. Here we go. First zombie. First encounter of a zombie. So here we go. You aim with your bow with your mouse. Wait a minute. Why is that zombie run away? No. There we go. You aim with your right mouse. You fire with your left clicker. Boom. Done. And always check proximity because he might actually have a loot bag on him always check that so that was our first encounter with a zombie see we're now we're, we're fine once you start learning how to take out the um the zombies with the bow and arrow you're fine it, it's quite easy to do but there's more to it than meets the eye there's a lot more problems out there oh we've got a cap let's let's give jessica a cap shall we so Jessica's now got a red cap as well, which is cool. You find loads of cool gear hanging around here, which is awesome. But like I said, guys, this first episode is basically a Survival 101. The first couple of episodes will be Survival 101. Just showing you how to survive, what to do, how to build stuff. We're going to be learning um, about crafting, like, um, campfires and much, much more as well. So you've got plenty to look forward to in the future guys plus we're going to be doing co-op videos with other members of G4L and friends in the future doing some PvP PvE battle royales and like I said we're going to be learning about the new updates as and when they come out as well so there's quite a lot to look at always check washing machines guys because if you find stuff like that always comes in handy for your scraps of cloth for your bandages because once you get hit by a zombie you need to bandage up you need to bandage up. So, what's outside? Have I got any more rest areas or something? I did not understand that there was like going to be rest areas and stuff. Punji sticks, they're really good. So there's nothing else around here as well, is there? Someone else has made a cool base. Has anyone left anything in these furnaces? Nope. Sometimes you might be lucky if you click on these items. You might find food that's been left there and so on so forth but guys what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a quick rest yeah, I'm going to see what this rest thing is all about but on the uh, flip side I will be back in the next episode with more H1Z1 time to survive we're going to be doing some more 101 survival we're going to move forward from this place we're going to go and possibly look for um, one of the towns or um, one of the big truck stops and see if we can find any more zombies to kill and go forward from there so until next time guys have a great day and I am going to rest.